With your Tackle HD crappie fishing report for Bull Shoals, here's Jordan Isaacs from Freedom Fishing Guide Service. What's up guys, Jordan Isaacs here with your Bull Shoals crappie fishing report sponsored by Tackle HD. Um, not a lot has changed again, you know, we still have that water temperature in that 44, 45 degree range. Um, the crappie are still biting. I've noticed uh, that I am starting to find some more fish on the structure now, so we can start finding a few fish that way. Uh, you know, there's still, I have noticed too, by the way, that our bait, um, the bigger baits are starting to work a little better. You know, the, the two and a half, three inch baits versus the inch and a half, inch and three quarter baits. Um, a lot of those fish though are still, you know, casting it out, tuning them, letting it fall down through them, um, down to the top of them, bringing it back. A lot of the bites right now are a very, very subtle bite. You're not feeling much. Um, at least on those suspended fish. Now on the brush pile fish where you're vertical jigging them and on the, the pole timber stuff, those fish are actually hitting it a little bit. Um, you know, we need to talk a little bit about this weather. So the bite hasn't changed much from my last report. However, we do have weather coming, cold weather. So I expect our water temperature to drop a little bit. And I kind of expect those fish, um, you know, they're gonna be, there's gonna be a few more fish on the cover than there was. But I do expect a lot more fish to pile up on those channel swings, on the edges of those channel breaks. Um, a lot of suspended fish, they're going to start eating as much shad as they can find. I would definitely start focusing though on those channel swings, especially any kind of timber or brush on a channel swing. Um, you're going to start noticing as this cold water come, this cold weather comes through that the water's going to start cooling down and these fish are going to get a little lethargic, but they're going to bite good. They're just going to be a little slower, maybe a little bit bigger school, start relating a little bit more to the structure. Um, if you have any kind of stumps or trees on a channel swing, um, you know, right on that channel break, if you can find a tree or a, a brush pile or a stump, or even a rock pile, those are going to start to hold your fish. I do see these fish changing, starting to, starting to do more of that winter pattern, you know, like we look for this time of year. Um, one thing I would suggest is, um, color. I know some guys don't really believe in that. Me personally, I would start going to a more natural color right now, you know, not so much your chartreuses and all that, but more of your shag colors, at least on bull shoals, your monkey milks, your um, blue ice, um, your pearls, things that look more like a shad. They're going to be eating those shad big time. So make sure that you are trying to match the hatch. So match that size of shad, match those colors, uh, more natural colors, and I think you're going to do better. You want the most natural presentation as well as you can get. So if you can throw it on a light head and get it to just fall real slow down into those fish, um, that works well. You might jerk it up, give it a good pop, get them to chase it, and then the bite's on. And don't be scared to go up in size either because I do know these fish are starting to chase some bigger baits. Um, I caught some this week on a, a three and a half inch, um, a three and a half inch bait. So don't be afraid to go to a little bit bigger bait. Those fish will still bite it, they'll still eat it. I know it's hard to think a, a crappie's gonna eat a three inch bait. They will choke it. Um, you know, line size, I'm using four pound test myself, monofilament or six pound fluorocarbon. Um, I really I really think the fishing's gonna get good once this front pushes through and this water cools down. Um, it's, gonna, it's just gonna get better, guys. It's just gonna get better. So stay with us. Um, hopefully next week, once this thing comes through, I'll be able to give you guys a really good detailed report about what happened, what the fish are looking like. And hopefully it'll, it'll be pretty much consistent for the rest of the winter, you know, until mid-February. So bear with us. We'll get you guys another report here coming up in a week or so. And uh, anyway, we'll see you on the water. Tight lines. God bless. This is one of our new Tackle HD lure kits. Now we currently have five different kits available. This particular one features our five inch Tackle HD brush buster. And as you can see, this package has absolutely everything you need. It's a 42 piece kit. Inside, you're gonna get six brush busters in the black red flake, six in June bug, six in green pumpkin, six in pumpkin seed, and six in watermelon red. These baits are durable, they're versatile, they're made in Missouri, and down in these bottom two compartments, we've thrown in six 3 8 ounce bullet weights and six size three extra wide gap hooks. You can find Tackle HD lure kits right now at TackleHD.com. Later this year, look for them in retailers nationwide.